G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Well today we're going to talk about sabiki rods and sabiki jigs. I did a video a while back, probably about eight or nine months ago, about a rod called a UTG from Akuma, up the guts. And what it does, it houses the sabiki jigs in the middle of the rod. Now these rods are ideal for if, if you're going out in a boat and you're going to chase some bait, some live bait before you start fishing. You don't want sabiki jigs on a dedicated rod lying around the boat because there's so many little hooks and every time you walk past these little things they stick in your jeans, they stick in your clothes and worse they stick in your skin. Housekeeping, if you get anything out of the video make sure you hit that thumbs up for me. Hit the uh, subscribe button to watch future videos and if you're interested in supporting the channel in the description below you'll find a Patreon link. Okay, sabiki jigs. The most common question I get is what size hook do I need to put on to catch the herring? Firstly, it's not just herring you can catch with them. Um, another question in there talked about the different species in the bay that you can catch and quite often you'll get the, um, the pilchers running through or sardines and you can use sabiki jigs for that as well when you find a school. The hook, the hook sizes I use are between 10 and 14. Um, you can go a little bit lower than 10 but you have to be careful if you go to a lower number which is a bigger hook you'll find that you may have trouble with the size of the hook going up the guts of the rod. So make sure you check the size of the hook bef up the guts of the rod before you go out and buy a whole heap of zabiki jigs. I use between 10 and 14 and 10 obviously a little bit bigger hook for things like the sardines in the bay and when I'm fishing for herring, they've got a very small mouth, I'll go between 12 and 14, depending on what I've got on the boat, or in the rod for the jetties at the time. One of the questions I didn't get, but it is important for you to know, is you may have to modify your sabiki jigs if you use an up-the-guts rod. The up-the-guts rod is only about a metre and a half long um, from the end of the handle, or the reel, to the end of the rod. And a lot of sabiki jigs, when you wind them all the way in, will have one or two hooks still lying outside the rod. In that case, I'll cut it off, leave enough room to make a loop knot for a sinker, and I'll just have one or two hooks uh, on my, I'll have my sabiki jig one or two hooks shorter than the way they come out of the packet. So I modify my sabiki jig to suit the rod, that way when it's up the guts, it's all up the guts and I don't have to worry about it again any time that I'm in the boat. Where you buy it is from most tackle shops that hold Akuma gear. Um, the Akuma UTG it's called, up the guts. Hope you got something out of the video. Make sure you hit that like button for me. The thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Description below for Patreon link. Now at the end of this video, right now, I'll just put in um, the main body of the video that I posted about eight or nine months ago. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. So that, that there's a little herring, what we call here a herring. They lose their scales really quickly. They certainly don't release and they don't live very long out of water. So put this one in the bucket, but that's what we're chasing. 20 or 30 of those on our little bait jig, a UTG from Akuma. It's uh, UTG is up the guts because that's where the uh, sabiki jig lives. When I get home, I'll just throw the water nozzle in the middle of that gut, it hoses it off and it's good for the next trip. Very safe way to fish for these things, very good way to fish for these things. Let's get some more bait. Doesn't take long. And we're on again. Another two. Another two. Throw them in the bucket.
So this is what the fish come around and feed off from the pylons. It's a, um, you can see the little suckers there. They suck onto the pylons. That's quite soft. It's not a shell. It might look like a shell. But um, that's quite a soft, fleshy feed there for, for a good brim or a jack. Pretty much anything that feeds on the pylons. That's what they're chasing. I'll just put this away and I'll have to talk about it here. See how easily that rolled up. Well, what we're catching is herring. We've got a few to start with. I won't bore you with my next half hour and I'm catching the same fish over and over, but you can see here that's about four or five pulls up. Very, very easy way to fish. Very rewarding for kids, so nice and safe. This is a um, sabiki rod, so it's called a UTG 732 SBK, SBK sabiki, UTG is up the guts, so you can see there's no runners in this. The uh, actual sabiki jig sits in the middle of this blank. The blank is flexible, so it's not a, not a broomstick by any stretch of the imagination. And you can pretty much use any 10 pound line, this is a 10 pound platypus, so 10 pound platypus you put a sinker on the end, as you can see in the, the video there. So just, just heavy enough to get to the bottom. And then you just work your way around the pylons until you find a little school of herring. Once you've found them, you collect your bait and you go home happy. Well that brings us to the end of another video as you can see, very easy clean. When you get home, stick the rod up the end of the barrel and it gets rid of all the salt and the spiggy jig inside of the rod, a little spray on the reel and you're ready for the next time. Thank you very much for watching, hit that subscribe tab, hit the like tab for me, it helps the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.